Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, x.e.l.o. And today, what I want to actually go over is a really cool script. Big shout outs to Eric Martinez for actually creating these scripts for Reaper. I'm going to show you three different ones that I use on a regular right now. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Reaper and the theme I'm using is called Reaper Tips. And before we even get started, I wanna make sure you guys have all the tools you need to make this actually work. All right, for this, you will definitely need SWS and Reapack in order to actually run the scripts inside of Reaper. So if you don't know how to do that, I have a video showing you how to do that as well. All right, and in this video, I will have the link to the Reapack so you guys can actually just go and download it straight into your Reaper. So you wanna go up to extensions, and you want to go to Reapack, and you want to make sure you go to Import Repository. Basically, you would do is just paste that link that you copied from this video in the link description, right? And once you actually do that, then you should see this one here that says Eric Martinez as one of the ones on here. And like I said, big shout out to Eric for actually creating these scripts, man. Right? Uh, once you have it installed, you can double click on it, and it'll open up the packages so you can see the packages here and you can go to install and just install the packages in this repository all right so i'm just using the keyzone classic let's make it two bars a midi insert so the first one i want to actually show you arps so in order to do the arps option you have to have chords inside of the piano roll so let's set some chords up all right so i'm gonna right click in here and I'm gonna go up to chord and I'm just gonna add a minor chord, um, nothing special. Let's do a seventh. All right, so here we have uh, a seven starting at C. Stretch this out. I'm gonna hold down control, copy this over, and now I can highlight both of them and I'm gonna just go duplicate it. All right, so now I'm gonna move this one, just that one key, and let's move this one up, right? And let's just kind of. Uh, All right, so now we have a couple of uh, chords. So let's make this actually bigger. I'm gonna take it off of the docker so you guys can see the full screen of it. MR. So I just type in MR and these are all his scripts that, we ha that he has in there. So we're gonna do the one that has the arpeggiator to chords from chords to arps, right? So if you hit run, you'll get this little box here. So this little box is the MIDI arpeggiator, right? You have an option to do an auto on here or a generate. So um, usually if you're changing the advanced stuff, it'll stop doing the auto. But if I just wanted to kind of do these here and kind of change them, let's say half, I can click on here and go up and it'll make an arp for those tracks, All right? So you have a, like an up and a down here option and you have a random option. So if you hit on the random, it'll randomly pick different things, All right? You have an option to do like a repeat. You have an option to go up and down, but let's give it, um, let's say 116, right? Uh, so we can go up, we can go down, you can do a random to randomize the actual notes. You could do a up and down. So it'll go up, then go down. And you can saw down as well. So you can do up or down or down and up, whichever one you wanna do. You have that option in there. So let's say we leave it as the going up. And so let's say we wanna do advanced. So you click on advance. And this will give you an option to change like the steps, the different kind of rates. This is also for the velocity. So if you want to change the velocity of the tracks, you could do that right here, right? And the rate will actually change how often it actually does the ARP. As you see, it's extended now. Right, so it gives you all these different options to kind of set this the way you want to um, and have different ways and modes of actually doing your art. Right, and that was the rate. And you also have an option for steps. 
So how many steps you actually want it to be? Right? And this legato is the option to actually pull it in and out. You can make it a staccato or a legato. You have like a little line here that you can kind of move to shorten the length. Right, to make it staccato or you can make it legato. And if you hit on a little light bulb, it'll give you an option to kind of create your own. So if you hit on this option to create, so now you have an option for patterns, uh, you could change the velocity, the octave of certain ones. So you can move like the octave of, uh, let's say this third note, right? Let's say we want it to go up or let's go up one, right? And we want this one here to go down two, right? And you also have an option for a gate. So if you wanted to gate uh, a sound, Ratchet, I'm not 100% sure what that was. And this is the rate of, of how it's actually gonna do it. And you can also set the velocity here as well. So if I hit generate, you see it made those into whatever I was actually setting up. And you can always save it as well. And you also have presets that you can make in here. And this is from the advanced tab. So you can make your ARPs however you want to inside of Reaper. All right, I'm gonna go type in MR again. And this one would be the M velocity, right? So I'm gonna run this one. And this is what the M velocity looks like. So you have an option to do a randomize. So you have a range from 25 to 120 and when you move this it'll as you see move the volumes of all of the sounds that are actually in there which is really cool so let's say you wanted uh to change this let's bring this down some and you can always hit update to update the, the sounds and do random that way you can just randomize it that way by doing an update. You have an option to expand and compress. Compress will bring it uh, closer together, all right? And expand will make it all even again. So you kind of want to have that probably somewhere in the middle. You also have this option here, do like a slope for your volume. So you can make them all slope up or slope down. So you can bring this down, all right? You can bring this all the way up, all right? And then in here, you can just kind of manipulate how you want it to curve, which is really, really fire though. And of course the step velocity is here as well. So you can kind of change the velocity of the other steps, plus or minus kind of thing. Over here is, um, I haven't really figured it out what this one actually does. If you do know what this one actually does, please leave it below in the comment section. We all would love to know what this area actually does. But as you can see, this makes it a lot easier to move around your velocities. This almost reminds me of like FL Studio where you have your little pop-up screens. You can actually manipulate the sounds and things and you can see it in real time. So like I said, really big shout out to Eric Martinez for making these things, man. So I have one more to show you guys. This one is really, really cool if you do a lot of splits inside of your track, All right? Let's go. All right, so let's say I make a note, right? And I wanted to chop this note up. I have an option now uh, from a script that he has. And if I hold down control and shift on my keyboard, it'll automatically split the note into two and I can split it into three. I can split it into four, split it into five. Split it into six, split it into seven, split it into eight. Just by moving a mouse wheel, I can kind of control this. So it can go up and down either way uh, inside here with this script. And right, and I do this and I have four of them on here, right? So now if I do control, shift and alt, this will give me an option to offset these notes. So I can offset these notes by whatever the grid is actually set to. Really, really cool stuff, man. All right, and you're probably wondering, what script was that X? So let's go to the scripts. All right, so I set it right here. This control shift and mod wheel to this MTZ split selected notes. 
and my control alt shift plus the mouse wheel is set to the, the offset after splitting. So those are the two that I was actually using just now at the end to actually offset the splits that I actually made. Really, really cool scripts. Once again, shout out to Eric Martinez for making these. I got this from Reaper Tips. Um, he has a video showing you how he um, went about trying to create it and he couldn't. So he asked the forum and someone came up, which was Eric Martinez. Shout out to you, like I said, once again. And he came up with this script. And I think the script is really, really dope. I think it will help a lot of people out. And uh, it's also free. So yes, uh, if you do want to uh, get the script, the link is below in the description. So you can actually get the Rea pack for it and you'll be able to actually load it on your Reaper as well. All right, pretty much that's the end of this video. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel. If you need any mixing or mastering services, you can hit me up at xeloh.com. If you wanna do a one-on-one -on -one session with me, come on, one-on-one -on -one session with your boy, it is at xeloh.com. Just book your time and schedule an appointment and we can definitely link up and do a one-on-one. -on -one. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching Learning Reaper. Till the next time. Peace.